VCU baseball is on a roll, winning seven straight, including a weekend sweep at LaSalle, and recording a second straight victory over defending national champion Virginia. Stifler attributes this success to our pitching, an aspect of the team that had the most questions coming into the season. Yeah, last week was a big week for us. I mean, we had a 5-0 uh, week last week, and, and four of those games being on the road. Um, our pitching's been outstanding. Uh, we, we have uh, had some big-time uh, performances on the mound from uh, Sean Thompson took a no-hitter into the seventh inning Friday night. Brooks Vial struck out 15 guys in, in seven innings on Saturday, and then freshman Michael Daly threw, uh, you know, gave up one run over six innings on Sunday to give us a chance. So the, it all started, it started on the mound. And offensively, we're, we're uh, being a little bit more consistent with our bats. We have a little bit better and more consistent idea of our lineup right now, which has helped. It's been a little bit more run productive. Um, so, you know, we're just hoping we're figuring some more things out and we're and hopefully peaking at the right time. The VCU pitching staff had to grow up fast this year. And they have answered the call throughout the season. I think they're all just more comfortable with who they are. That's, that's the biggest thing is, is we need them to go out and just be themselves. Um, and if they do that, they're going to be fine. But also putting them in the right roles. Coach Hayes done an unbelievable job of being able to get those guys in the right uh, position to succeed. Um, but those guys have really, really continued to work every week. They put the time in. They're working to get better, and I'm, I, I can't say enough about the progress that some of those young guys and new guys have made on the mound. Along with the pitching, the Rams' offense has been booming as well. Well, we, we add the addition to Hayden Lamb at the top of our lineup. Um, Hayden is, uh, is just you know, literally one of the best base runners I've, I've been around and uh, can change a game with his speed. So him getting on base has really, really changed and gotten more fastballs from the middle of our lineup. And, um, over the last two to three weeks, I feel like Darian Carpenter and Matt Davis have both started to swing the bat like the players that they are. Uh, I think Matty's hitting over 400 over the last two or three weeks, and, and Darian's hit some huge home runs and, and doubles and RBI situations for us. So those two guys have, have really started to come into, into their own, and then, and then the rest of the guys are just grinding through their at-bats and taking good at-bats for us. We have seniors in the lineup, James Bond, and Cody Acker, Jimmy Kerrigan, all doing their part. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been good, and I just hope it continues to, uh, to get some fuel. Wins don't come easy in the Atlantic 10, and after dropping the first two of a weekend series versus Rhode Island, VCU needed a gutsy performance to avoid the sweep, and that win has propelled them through the last seven games. I really feel like we, we had a win um, at, uh, at Rhode Island on Sunday. We weren't playing very well, and the guys just outgridded them um, and won an extra innings on the road and, and to escape a sweep up there, and I feel like that's been the one so far that, that they feel like, you know, has has kind of propelled them a little bit and they understand, you know, really the importance of every conference game and, and, and you know, hopefully that'll get them moving. You hope a five game week where you come up 5-0 and oh is, is a week that can really set, set the table for the rest of the year. We'll see. It won't be time to enjoy the win streak as Crosstown rival Richmond enters the Diamond this weekend. We have Richmond here at home this weekend and that's, you know, no matter what the records are, you can throw them out the window. That's a, it's a, you know, a rivalry game. And the guys just got to continue to be themselves. They're in a good place right now mentally, physically, we're pretty healthy. As long as the guys continue to do what they can do and, and stay within themselves and, and, and take it one game at a time. I mean, you know, there's, there's still going to be another, another up and down roller coaster part to this season, whether it's a, a downside or, or we get hot for a while. There's still going to be another streak somewhere in there. And you just got to ride them out and survive them. And so uh, hopefully it's on the good end. But, um, you know, we'll see. As long as the guys continue to be themselves and compete, we'll be fine.